Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you want to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the Moon. It was a cold winter's night and time to retire. And Santa Claus sat before his warm fire. He said to himself, Well, I made that nice sled that I promised to Johnny, and I painted it red. And I fixed up that train to make it run steady. The dolls are finished. I think I'm most ready. He heaved a great sigh and said, I'll take a nap. And just then on the door there came a loud rap. Twas the wicked Squeeboblims who hate Christmas cheer. And they said to Santa, We'll fix you this year. So they tied him up tight. Well, he made a good fight and carried him off through the cold, dark night. Now, Jonathan Thomas, who's a wee little lad, heard what had happened, and he felt very sad. He said, I'll find Santa, with the help, of course, of the man in the moon and Gorgonzola the horse. And the three started out on their perilous way to find Santa Claus before Christmas Day. Well, you'd be surprised how much trouble they've had, what with giants and goblins and things that are bad. And the wickedest kind of a wicked old witch who rules o'er a land called Rumpelstitch has done her best with her terrible magic to make the end of this story tragic. But the good fairy queen has kept them from harm. For whatever happens, she knows the right charm. And I've had faith that the three would succeed. Because you can't make mistakes when you do a good deed. Well, they walked right into Looking Glass Land where they met Queen Alice in her court so grand. And she gave them a whistle to make them grow tall. Or, if they preferred, it would make them grow small. They were chased by a dragon with 13 tails. And then the Squeeboblims put them in jail. But Jonathan Thomas, he kept his head and blew the whistle as Queen Alice said. And he grew so small, he crept under the door. And then he grew up. And what is more, he opened the door for the man in the moon. And they rescued Santa quicker than soon. And now they're home safe in Santa Claus land. They're having a party that's ever so grand. I'd like to be there myself, wouldn't you? Let's listen in and hear what they do. Oh, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. For Jonathan Thomas has kept his promise and it's a happy day. Oh, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the while. Let everyone come and join the fun and wear your biggest smile. <laughs> <laughs> Just look and see the Christmas tree. Tis such a beautiful sight to see such cheer again this year. I could shout with all my might. For Jonathan Thomas has kept his promise and rescued Santa Claus. He's as brave as can be as you can all see. The bravest that ever was. Ho, ho, ho. How well I know. Me, he's such a joy. He's as brave as ten men. And I say again, he's a mighty fine little boy. <laughs> and now I trow the time has come for a speech to be heard by everyone. I told you I would as I knew I should. And I always keep my promise. So now I present tonight's main event. A speech by Jonathan Thomas. For gracious sakes, the goodness, Jonathan Thomas, hurry up and make a speech. Yeah, yeah. And if I know you, it'll be a peach. But I don't know how to make a speech. Go right ahead. Make it out of your head. For everyone wants to hear how it could be that you rescued me and bring such Christmas cheer. But I couldn't have rescued you, Mr. Santa Claus. If it hadn't been for the man in the moon and everybody else that was so nice to help me. Oh, flim flam and flub dud. He's only trying to flatter. For he did it, I own, by himself alone. So don't believe such chatter. You helped me, Mr. Man in the Moon. And so did the three little dwarfs, Weasel, Sneasel, and Beasel. That's not very true. For it was you. And that's true, Blow. So don't try to spoof, for we have proof. And we speak the truth. Jonathan Thomas, you kept your promise and rescued Santa Claus. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Ho, ho, he, he. I guess you can see that credit is due where credit should be. But if the three little dwarfs hadn't taught me the magic word, the wicked old witch would have gobbled me up. I never heard of a magic word. Pray tell me, how does it go? I like a line of magic rhyme. So what is it I'd like to know? It's very easy, Mr. Santa Claus. You say it this way. Hans, we nuns, we giggle, we Whenever the magic word you say of Hansque, Nansque, Giggly Vey, it is my cue to appear to you. It is the magic way. Oh, hello, Your Majesty, if you please. Well, bless my soul, we'll have such cheer. For now, most all of us are gathered here, but wait, wait, wait. There are two who are late. Well... Speak of them all, and in they fall. Well, someone hurry and open the door, but wait a minute. For well, there's one thing more. Jonathan Thomas, now shut your eyes and stand right still. Now, open the door and let them in. It's your walrus friend and Whiskery Bill. Hello. Oh, hello, Whiskery Bill. It's as nice as can be for me to see that you're back again so soon. Uh, but I knew you could, as you said you would. You and the man in the moon. Right, me pink, I say. What a happy day. It's more than I could wish. Such lovely cheer. I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> Will somebody throw me a fish? Ho, 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 ho. My gracious to goodness. We're having a wonderful party. No thanks to that witch of Rumpelstitch, who thinks she's such a smarty, but let the bells ring out, we'll sing and shout, and join in the fun with everyone. But we'll have to be fast, for the party can't last, because I've got to leave. For you see, I can't wait, or else I'll be late, for tonight is Christmas Eve, and I'll pack on my back my large toy sack, then into my sleigh and away through ice and snow the world below to be there on Christmas Day. Oh, oh, oh I feel all oh, goose pimply, I do, because I like Christmas better than two times two times two. Before we go, we'd like to show how much we think of you, for you've kept your promise, Master Jonathan Thomas, a very fine thing to do when morning does break and when you awake. You needn't have a care, but look under your tree, and there you'll see that your toys will all be there. Oh, thank you, Mr. Santa Claus, if you please. We couldn't go wrong if we sang a song. Santa Claus, now what do you say? Let's have a tune before he leaves the moon to remember this happy day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very fine thought, and I think we ought. Oh, strike up the music clear. Let the bells loudly ring and everyone sing. Let's have lots of Christmas cheer. Thomas. Jonathan Thomas. It's time to wake, laddie boy. Jonathan Thomas. Oh. <clears throat> it's Christmas morning, Jonathan Thomas. Don't you want to get up? 
Don't you want to see what old Santa Claus left for you under the Christmas tree? Oh, hello, Daddy. <laughs> oh, I've hello. been up on the moon. Uh -huh. And I already know what Santa Claus left for me. Because he told me, Daddy. He did. Oh, well, you just think you know. Why, you couldn't guess in a million years. Is it a rocking horse? And a sled? And a train? Eh? Yeah? Why, what? How did you know? I told you that Santa Claus told me. Oh, well, I almost forgot. Mm -hmm. Where's Gus? Gus? Why, he's right here by your side. Oh, my goodness. I thought he was lost. Hello, Gus. Oh. Now, come on, Daddy. Let's take Gus and go down the stairs to the Christmas tree. And... Uh -huh. oh, oh, wait a minute, Daddy. Mm -hmm. I hope every boy and girl in the world... Well, have as wonderful a Christmas as I have. And I wish I could see them all and say, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And that goes double from all of us. And what a happy Christmas we'll have. Because Jonathan Thomas has kept his promise and rescued Santa Claus. And now, a Merry Christmas to all. And to all, a Happy New Year. Mm -hmm.